starring Squire Sharp, Paige Pinch, Lady Lovely, The Brave Sir Bino, The Black Knight, Sir Loin of Beef, and Draco. How are the preparations coming for m the journey, my lady? Not so good, young squire. Was well, there anything I can do to help? It's just that Sir Bino is spending all of his time helping some of the other noble knights get their households ready, and he doesn't have time to do the things I asked him to do. Well, what do you need done, my lady? Well, first I need all of my horsehair wigs properly powdered, and then I need all of my perfumes enclosed in bubble wrap and labeled and alphabetized. Well, perhaps one of the ladies in waiting can help you. I know that Serbina was quite busy with all the provisions we will need to bring. Young squire, I am Serbino's sister. I am a fragile and tender young maiden who needs her every whim taken care of. Now, I want you to immediately get all of my brushes and polish their handles. Polish your hairbrushes, Lady Lovely? Yes! They must look their best when we go to the King's Castle. Very well, my lady. Where are they? You will find 52 of them located in various places around this castle. 52 hairbrushes? Yes, squire, 52 hairbrushes. And they better be shiny enough to see my reflection in them. Okay, okay. <sighs> the next day. Yoo-hoo, Paige Pinch. Come here, you darling little creature. Yes, my lady, what can I help you with? Have you seen Sir Bino today? Why, yes, my lady. He was talking with Sir Boyne Beef, making plans to travel together with his household to the feast. That man gets my corset in a bundle! Does he not know that I have needs that need to be attended to? D is there something I can help you with, my lady? Yes, my shoes. I am missing a gorgeous pair of side buckled boots. Why do you need a pair of shoes to go on the journey? One pair of shoes? I should think not, child. I'm taking 77 pairs of shoes. 77 pairs of shoes? Are you sure you need that many, my lady? Oh, I wish I could bring 100. Now run along, child, and find me those boots. Later that day. Sir Bino! Sir Bino, where are you, man? Hello, me lady. May I be of some service to you? Well, who are you? Just a traveler passing through. I heard your cry for help. Sir Stinkalot is my name. Well, what is that thing flying around your head? This is my pet. His name is Draco. Hello! Oh, how interesting. Yes. Is there something I can do for such a charming maiden as you? I'm looking for the master of this castle, my brother Sir Bino. Sir Bino? Is he the knight I saw just now giving a dress to a commoner? <gasps> giving away a dress? Not one of my dresses. No, Sir Bino! Why, a maiden as pretty as you should have a thousand dresses to adorn her, me lady. Oh, you're so kind, sir. Stink a lot. I wish my brother thought as you do. Well, perhaps if me lady told him how she felt, surely Sir Bino can see that his sister is a beautiful maiden <laughs> who should have all the luxuries of life. Yes, you are so right, sir. Stink a lot. I'm going to go find Sir Bino now and give him a piece of my mind before he gives away any more dresses. Well, my pet. We have to tell Slippery Serpent that we were able to cause some trouble down here at the castle. He will be most pleased. Yes! Later that day. Sabino, what have you done? Lovely lady, why, why, what is the matter? How could you do it, Serbino? How could you give away a wonderful dress to a lady from another family? Oh, well, I'm sorry, milady. Serbina was kind enough to give me a dress to my poor wife. 
We had a difficult time lately, and she does not have a very good dress to go to the feast in. Serbino was very generous, like a true noble knight. Serbino, how could you? You know I need a new dress. Where'd you get this dress at, anyway? It was a dress I bought for my dear departed Lady Elizabeth on her last Christmas with us. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Serbino. And you should be. The Knight's Code of Conduct goes for noble ladies as well. And the Code says we should be generous and give freely as God has given to us. I assure me, lady, that one day we will repay your kindness. Oh, that's perfectly fine, Sir Loin of Thief. Perhaps I could give a pair of my shoes to your wife that would go with the dress. <gasps> and maybe I'll even polish a hairbrush for her. That's the spirit, Lady Lovely. The end.